Y'all, I high key, low key, ran right up on my teacher. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari Parker, and I'm back with a different video with the same vibes. Okay, so why not we? Why not do another vlog? You know, what, just why not? We already added, and I should have vlogged when I was on spring break. But that's done. Spring break is over. Today was the first day back at classes. I got up this morning. I brushed my teeth. I had already did my hair yesterday, so my hair is already done. So I have blow dried it, and I did like a little blowout per se. And then I just like try. I tried to like I don't know what this is called, but like a braid on the scalp thing situation. And then I like I just oh, he like needs Those are crazy in the back. Mind your business. Yeah. How about you just mind yours? Like I said, I had brushed my teeth. I had ate like a little granola bar with some chocolate milk. And like, I don't know. Today is, today's pretty decent. And I went to my classes. I, I went, ooh, ooh. Here we go, I was one time to my classes. I like, I was on time to one, um, the first one. So I'm like really, I'm really proud because normally I'm late that class like hauling ass late so like when i got in that bitch and it was like 10 30 because class start at 10 30 a.m i got there at 10 29 didn't sit in my seat until 10 30 hey so who fucking with me at this point ain't nobody ain't nobody and then on top of that which i'm really thankful for and blessed to to experience is that my tiktok um, people are already liking my TikTok videos and like I'm really surprised and I feel like why are you surprised you're funny but it's like it's I guess I'm my biggest critic so like to others it may seem like oh you do like you're really funny all this other stuff like especially with my YouTube videos like a lot of my friends and peers um, they're like oh watch the YouTube video it's, it's really funny like you're really funny I'm like I don't think I am maybe because I watch a lot of the like I watch a lot of the footage and I have to edit a lot of footage before I put it out. So to me, it's boring. And I'm actually living the stuff that y'all are watching. So it's like, to me, I feel like it's boring. But to y'all, it's probably entertaining. And me doing TikTok and just posting the videos and seeing that people actually like it, it's really touching my heart. The first video I posted, I posted it in like around like six hours. It got like 200 likes. 200 likes on it and you probably like that's not much but like to me that's a lot because I wouldn't have expected to get those many people to like the video and I'll probably insert the clip here for the video Whoa! Yes! so then um yesterday well it was this morning because I was up till like five in the morning so I had, I was just up and I had the idea came to me to make this little video clip to the sound. And I did that. And um, they, it's been up for eight hours and I already have like 415 people like the video. Like that is ridiculous. And that is like, that's amazing. Like, you know, for some people they're like, oh, that ain't shit, that ain't nothing. But to me, if it, even if it's nothing to them, to me, it's a lot because I, like I said, I. Even like 40 likes to me is a lot on TikTok. Cause I feel like, you know, Instagram was like, you're expected to get so many likes, stuff like that. But like, I feel like TikTok is kind of different because people actually have, like people like you. You don't have to like put on a, a face or nothing like that. Like they actually like who you are as a person, what you post or anything like that. So it's like for 415 people and counting to like that video, it's only been up for eight hours. Like I'm really blessed. I'm extremely grateful and I'm extremely grateful to all the people on TikTok who liked my videos and commented and could relate to the videos and stuff like that. So I'm just really grateful and thankful. Yes, so sorry for that rant. It was, it's not a rant, but you know, and that's another thing. I need to stop. Sometimes you don't have to be humble. You know, sometimes you can boost your fucking self up. If you're doing something good and you feel like it's good, congratulate yourself. Speak highly of it. Speak it. Because I was watching TikTok. I was watching a TikTok video and it was this they told me the same stuff like it's okay to be humble, but also 
brag about yourself. It's so, and it's also okay to brag about yourself. So I'm going to. So if you don't like it, you can skip. That's your choice. But like for me, I'm living in this moment. I'm, I'm very thankful and I'm very blessed. And I just pray that a lot more blessings come to me. And same to peers and people watching. I, I pray that you're, you follow what you love to do and that your dreams come true. And that, you know, you remain happy and content in life. And that's honestly all it is. Um, let me cue. Let me, because I, I, I have a rant. But again, I'm so thankful. I'm about to relax. I have like a little gap in between to my next class, which is my dance class, which I'm going to bring y'all along with too. Hopefully Tamia is there. I don't know if she's going to be there or not. Um, she always is, but I just don't know because I haven't really got to talk to her today. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to eat and relax until 2.30 when my class starts. So, all right, I'll see y'all. And then it's quick. Okay, so I'm about to go to class. A little outfit check. I've been wearing this shirt a lot. I don't know. I just saw the shirt. Okay, we got some black pants, some black jog joggers, my Crocs for dance class, and just my hair and necklace, bracelet, and that's everything. So I'm about to go to class. And then, right side, left side. Okay, let's do that Wednesday so it's been a day since I last recorded I'm tired I was up all night doing homework um I, I tired it in I submitted it by the grace of God and skin of my teeth I, I submitted it but now I'm about to go to my class my first class um which is my biology I'm late but it is what it is and then I'm going to just come back home because I just I don't know today's just not I don't know it's like, it's not, it's not a bad day. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think I'm just, I'm just, a little I'm just tired. I just want to relax, honestly. So I'm not going to go to my second class, but I'm going to go to dance class later today because Tania will be there. But yeah, I probably won't record that because it's going to be the same stuff. So as of Monday, so I'm just, just I'll talk to y'all later. We've already rejected that. We're just going to keep moving down one and one and more. One code on, one code on, one code on. In dance class, making a video for our um, class project. And that I will be um, doing a little dance cameo. So, yeah. I don't know if they're on set for our music video for our latest song that's coming out. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing around. We're on, we're um, recording a video for our dance class. So we'll be right Hey y'all, so I'm back. Okay, so I'm smiling and I'm blushing, I'm gushing because you probably like, oh, what you in love or something? No, I'm not. I am just happy because I was able to t to take my midterm, and this is what happened. So I accidentally overslept the day of midterm uh, for my biology lab. So I had to, you know, had to figure it out. And then the day I was supposed to take it, my teacher was like, well, can we reschedule? Da, da, da. So I was like, okay. And then mind you, that next week was spring break. And then a the week after that, um, I kind of forgot 
to email her and she forgot to email me. Miscommunication. And then this week, which I believe is this week, second week after break, I emailed her because she put our grades in for it and dropped my grade. And I was like, no, it's not happening. And it kind of made me doubt myself with school. And it, it honestly made me think about dropping out. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but like, I don't know. It's just been hard, honestly. It's just been hard. Oh, the straw. I got McDonald's got breakfast. Um, but it's just been hard. Mentally, it's been hard um, for me. Like, and I don't know why. I just feel like I'm kind of like in this little rut because I'm, I'm just so in my head with a lot of things. A lot has been going on. I'm just over the BS, honestly. Like, I just wish and pray, and I know that things will get better. And I have new, had numerous com confirmation that things will get better in my life. And like my friend, uh, Jay Bree, he calls me and we talk. And we just talking about a lot of spiritual things, a lot of um, just things in general. And I feel like that was af as as ooh, ooh, not ass, ooh, not ass, affirmation. Let me thinking of ass chat. What's going on? I don't know. I just feel like I just been going through a lot. And also like. Personally, like, friendships, I feel like... I've seen this TikTok, which I'm going to insert. Um, the girl, she's talking about, like, how she's a healer and she loves to help fix people. If she sees somebody, it's like, you know, something's off, I want to fix it. And that's kind of how I am. And then she was like, she's talking to her mom, and her mom was like, it's your fault that you do that. It'll make, probably make a lot more sense in the video. I'm going to insert that clip right now. I told my mom about this disappointment or whatever that I just had with two individuals that I thought were really close to me. And she made me realize that I break my own fucking heart. A lot of times I know these girls aren't prepared for me. I know I know that the people that I'm trying to put myself for, I, I, I like to heal. So when I see insecurity, it never makes me, you know, run away. I always just, I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. I can make her feel better about herself. I can help motivate her. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could help, you know, break down these weird walls she has and, you know, but who the fuck am I? I said that shit about people yesterday, but who the fuck am I? Why do I feel like it's my job to heal everybody around me? These bitches don't like me. These bitches like the way I make them feel. And it's my fault. It's my fault because I've allowed them to think that they're like me. I'm not better than anybody, but you ain't me. You ain't me. We're nothing alike. And you're going to respect me, right, in the process of me healing you. And I've been letting myself down because I've been avoiding or, or being lenient on my boundaries and not making people that I am healing respect me. And then I finally blow up when I'm done with everything. So this is really my fault. Let me just, I'm done. All right, we're back. But um, I don't know. I just feel like everything that she said in the video, I relate to and I can feel. And it's like, I don't know. And I, I feel like I have, to, I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into it, but I just need to let it go. And just keep moving forward. I don't hate nobody. I don't I don't have any ill will or anything like that to anybody. I just feel like I have to withhold boundaries for myself. And if I feel like certain things aren't, if it's not benefiting me or I'm not benefiting, if we're not benefiting each other in a situation, and it begins to feel toxic, then it, you have to step away from the situation. And if, or, you feel like you're underappreciated or the other person feels like they're underappreciated they need you should remove yourself from the situation i'm just leaving it at that um and i don't know it's just it's just different things are different now and it kind of it, it 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 does make me feel a type of way but i try to shut out that feeling because i know i'm doing it for a right reason for myself and i don't know but Sorry for a little rant, a little montage, but any whore. So, yes, I took my exam and I'm just, I feel confident. I feel a lot confident in what I did. I, my brain was actually working, y'all. It was actually putting down information. I was like, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And it was some points I was like, oh, oh, but I got it through. 
and i'm just happy that i was able to take the exam so hopefully my grade goes back up to where it was or higher because where it's at now i'm pissed i really am because i was doing so good in that class i was so good in that class like come on but um and i'm i'm gonna ask my teacher too about any extra credit or anything else because i was doing so good in that class so it is what it is just pray for me and i'm pray for me that i do good on this exam and we'll see and when i get the information i'll let y'all know Y'all, I heard key, low key ran up on my teacher <laughs> because I woke up late. I woke up late for class, and I'm like, and I get there and I see everybody leaving. But when I get out, my, when I get out, when, oh my gosh! So mind you, class started at 8:30. I don't get there until 8.50. So, so, when I... When I get there, there's nobody in the building. I mean, in the room. So... There's no, hopefully you can still hear me, but there's nobody in the room. So, I'm like, okay, where is... What happened? So, I make it all the way downstairs... And then I see my teacher, like I see her going into our, like, you know, our union, student union. So I follow her and I low-key post up on her at Starbucks. So it's been a day, but at least I get to go home. I'm going to go to McDonald's first, get me something to eat, but I get to go home, relax. I need to do this assignment before it's too late. And yeah, so sorry that this is all this is all over the place. Also, been a lot going on, um, and also I, it's not been a lot going on. I just haven't had like the inspiration to do to record and stuff like that. So there's nothing wrong per se, but it's just the thing that is wrong is that I just don't feel like recording a lot of times. So yeah, but I'll see y'all later.